you know you, you already set up your page and let's say you want to start doing your graphics and so in uh, in Corel draw you can import lots of lots of file type or images image files and uh, to create a graphic so if you want to insert uh, an image so you call that import so there's a button here for import or control I for import and this is what I usually do you can also go to file and then import here but anyway I'll choose this icon here for import and in here you can import JPEGs you can if you click on the file formats here you can actually import Adobe Illustrator file bitmap and there's tons in here Corel Photo Paint um, DXF DWG files you see AutoCAD files and JPEG, GIF, uh, and lots of files in here. And Corraldo is known for for really good in importing uh, image files in your graphics. Okay. So anyway, I'll click on on this one here, which is a, a preview. And if you click on preview here, the default is in AutoCAD is this one is not checked. Okay, so click on that so that you could see the the uh, image that you're going to import. So I'm going to click on that and click uh, so I'm I'm done and I'll click on import here and it goes to my my drawing area here. So obviously my graphics is too big so I'll shrink it down and I'll put it somewhere here. Okay. So that's how you import, uh, import uh, an image or a drawing so now let's say I want to put it in here okay I'll just make this because uh, I'm going to make this a background for my for my graphic so I will make it landscape and then I'll just fit it in here okay and if you notice the the page didn't really match the proportion of my image okay so now if you want to make that match to this uh, the 8 and 11 you can shrink it down like this or you can type eight and a half in here so you click on the image and then click here eight and a half but before doing that we want to unlock the make it non-proportional okay because it's not proportional to eight and a half by eleven so I unlock that okay now I can f I can freely resize this one so I'll make this 11 and put this 8.5.5 and then hit enter okay so that's how you know the size of the object if you click on the object and this one is the actual size so 8 and a half by 11 so now it matches my letter size paper and if you want to center this to the page you just type in P uh, to letter P and it centers to the page now this is good. What we did is good because we resize it with non-proportion. Okay, uh, so it was forced to become eight and a half by eleven. But if we have pictures here of people, it's not really good to resize that or force uh, resizing. You have to make it proportion. Anyway, so that's putting the background onto your graphics. And oh, one more point here it's best to lock the object so you click on the the background and click on arrange and then click on lock object so that you won't accidentally choose or move the object or the background 